Hi everyone, this is Ivo. This topic I will introduce how to use Delta ASPOC hardware high speed counter. You can see from our user manual, most of AS uh, series POC, the maximum input frequency is 200 kHz, and you can see some input points can support only 10 kHz. Uh, this is because uh, these points are for software high speed counter. And obviously, you will see S three two four MT A. This model, the maximum input frequencies for megahertz are because the input signal is differential. So we have a two channel differential signal in S three two four MT. What I will show you today, uh, I will use the feed, uh output from our POC and I will use a pulse and direction as example. So the description here just uh, for your reference uh, but for the real application basically you will use the signal from uh, external encoder or some other device uh, but if you uh, want to test the function you can use a uh, High speed counter 200. This one is based on pulse only, so you can use the Y0.0 uh, connect to uh, X0.0. And high speed counter 201, this one uses a uh, pulse and direction, so you need uh, both pulse and direction. So we connect these two signal uh, back to input. And for some application, if you need an AB phase, then you can use the uh, Y0.0 and Y0.2 connect to uh, X0.0 and X0.1. So you can see this is my testing program. I will use a DPLSB, then assign the target frequency. And because I mentioned, I will use a, a high-speed counter a 201 percent direction. So we define Y0.0 and Y0.1. And here I put the time is uh, 8,000, that means uh, 8 seconds, uh, because for this example, I will use a 100 kHz fre uh, target frequency. Another part is uh, use a D counter and the uh, high speed uh, com compare. So I will use the Y0.4 and the Y0.5. So we can monitor the status uh, from uh, data trace of ISP SOP. So this is what I mentioned. Uh, we can define the input mode, then define the target frequency, and then uh, compare the output of uh, Y0.4 and Y0.5. Then we can click the data tracer here. And we can add on the Y0.4 and Y0.5. Okay, we can go online, and here we can download the program first. Then also switch online. As I mentioned, I use a 100K. Then we can trigger. And you might wonder why uh, only show one color. So we can click here, uh, separate curve, and we can go to menu. So you can see uh, Y0.4, we use the orange color, and Y0.5 use the yellow color. OK, and as I mentioned, uh, if you want to test the AB phase, you can add on one more channel, uh, Y0.2. And this one connect to X0.1. And this uh, will be more easier uh, if you test the high speed counter H, uh, high speed counter HC200. Uh, okay. But I have to emphasize again uh, for this application, I just show you how to uh, 
use the function, but for real application, uh, I think you should use the signal from external device. So that's all for today. Thank you.